All right, so now I'm going to explain how the Remington Model 51 works, and I'm going to put it back together, and I'm going to do both of those hopefully in the same video. All right, uh, step one, we've got it in pieces. Um, I'm going to I'm going to explain uh, what all the various pieces do. Okay, so I've got a bolt here, and I've got the frame here. I'm going to move the other parts out of the way out of the way so I don't drop anything on them all right so there we go now the bolt when the firearm is in battery sits right there um, right there sorry and you see that little gap right there that little gap allows the bolt to be unlocked but it's not going anywhere because it can only go back that little um, eighth of an inch the uh, sixteenth uh, of an inch, whatever it is. So imagine everything is in battery uh, like this. In fact, let's not imagine it. Let's visualize it as it really is. I'll kind of partially assemble this. All right. Okay, so the barrel's in there uh, like it would be on the gun. And we've got the bolt forward. All right, so that is the way it is. <laughs> it's difficult to hold all those parts. And the pin fell out. All right, so let's do this. Let's pin it with something a little more substantial. All right, so gun and battery. The gun fires, um, uh, and I said earlier I, I made a mistake. The barrel actually doesn't recoil because it's solidly pinned in there. Um, the bolt recoils that far. So the bolt, the gun will go off. The bolt will recoil that far. And then it, the slide will go back and lift the bolt and then carry it uh, further on back. Um, that little thing is normally down. Okay, so let me demonstrate that again. The gun fires, it is locked um, at this point when it has moved that far. During that period of travel, when it goes like that, it is a blowback op uh, operation. However, the gun is this far open now, which means it's locked partially open and the slide has gained some velocity going towards the rear. So since the slide has gained velocity, I'll put the bolt back in. There you go. Since the slide has gained velocity, it is going back, and as it goes back, the bolt goes forward, and this surface here will contact a surface underneath here on the, this is a slide, and that'll lift the bolt, lift the tail of the bolt out so it, you can see it's, uh, as the bolt goes, or as the slide goes back, imagine I'll, I'll try and do it this way. As the slide goes back, it lifts the tail of the bolt out. So now the bolt is, is up and out of the way. So I'll move the barrel to clarify things. Now the bolt is up and out of the way and it can continue on the way back. So the, the rest of the travel, again this, this little piece is normally pushed down like that. So that the rest of the, the travel there, it is cocking the hammer and uh, it is unlocking, uh, extracting with a little extractor, ejecting with a little ejector, and uh, Every, everything is happening just like it would in, in pretty much any other firearm, any other modern firearm. Uh, so, this is a unique operating system. You don't see this on any other weapon. Fixed or relatively fixed barrel. Now it wiggles a little bit, so it's not uh, it's not perfectly firm. But uh, fixed barrel, blowback operated, locked breech, and you don't get to see that that often. All right, so. If you understand, that's how it basically works. You can't see the hammer, however, 
it's uh, got a magazine safety. So let me put the magazine in and I'll demonstrate. There is a hammer. Again, you have to have the grip safety in to fire it. Pull the trigger. See the hammer comes down. There's the hammer. This little area behind the hammer. And it's a recess for the hammer to cock back into. And it goes a little bit beyond. You saw it was pushing on my bolt a little bit, but it'll it'll actually go far enough down to, to completely get out of the way. All right. So you should understand the operation of the gun. It has got a push button magazine release here. Um, notice it's held on in a weird way. There's a little wedge block that goes in. Uh, you have to push it beyond where it normally be, and uh, it, it's it's a real pain. You should never have to take the magazine uh, <coughs> the uh, magazine uh, release out. The grips are not held on with screws. There, there's actually a, a steel plate inside of there. There's two rivets that hold that steel plate down, and the grip will, will uh, drop in and slide forward, but you have to take this pin out to do it. I'm not going to do that because that's kind of detail stripping, and I didn't want to get into that here. Uh, but I will take the magazine out. Um, and you can probably see down in there, you see a little bit about how that, that uh, steel plate is, and there's the rivets that come down. You can probably, yeah, you can see pretty good. You can also see the, that little lever at the rear there. That's the magazine, say, uh, magazine disconnect. I'm pushing with my finger on the ejector, and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that little lever that flops down in the middle there. That actually, when you push the magazine in, it pushes flush with the magazine well. And uh, that disconnects the, the mechanism so you can fire the gun.